and we are going to talk about Shred 10 for March. All of you are shredders, returning shredders, new shredders, and we're going to talk about what to do and how this goes and why you're doing this in the first place. And so we're starting as a group on Monday. And the purpose of the shred is to take out the foods that are not serving you and then flood your body with whole food nutrition. And it really is a jump start. So we know that in 10 days, you're just dipping your toe in the water, if you will, and experiencing what that does. And our, our hope is that after these 10 days, you realize that your body likes it and that you do keep going. But it's easier to say to do this for 10 days than 10 months or you know, a longer period of time. So we want you to stay very, very focused on the guidelines for the 10 days and let your body does what it does. And again, the 10 days, we know that's a good amount of time for you to start to feel the effects of what the shred is doing for you. In, in this world or in our society today, um, there's a lot going on. And right now we're dealing with this uh, coronavirus thing. But as you may notice, there's more heart disease, stroke, cancer in younger and younger people, respiratory diseases, asthma, things that happen that did not happen before. Diabetes, Alzheimer's, kidney disease, autism. Autism was not a thing once upon a time autoimmune, lupus, MS, fibromyalgia, uh, rheumatoid arthritis, thyroid challenges, and the list goes on and on. And one of the big things is constipation and digestive issues. And all of that is a result of a perfect storm, which is our society today. It is food that is lacking nutrients. It is the environment. And our, our lack of really again, filling our body with what it needs to thrive. So the goal is during this shred to give your body a break and to fuel yourself with what it needs to thrive. And there's nothing like it. I've been in the nutrition field for more than a decade and I, I stand behind what the shred does and what it stands for. And so I wanna review the guidelines for you and, and help you to understand why we're doing this. So your, the guidelines are 10 guidelines and we're gonna again do this for 10 days initially. You're gonna eliminate gluten and dairy. Why? Why would you do that? So gluten, there's this chemical that is put on gluten that really has a, a adverse effect on so many of us and we don't even know that. And so when you're removing gluten out of your diet, you give your digestive system that time to uh, give it a break. So gluten is the protein found in wheat. So that means that during this time, we're not doing bread, we're not doing pasta, um, any, anything that is wheat related. And then the question might be, well, can I do, can I replace that with the gluten-free items that are available? And I would say no, unless it's unprocessed. We'll talk about that a little bit more. And then we're moving out dairy, that's cheese, butter, milk, yogurt. There are some dairy-free butters that you know that you can use in, in this case, but we are looking at eliminating any refined or processed foods and sugar. We're gonna have natural sugars, which is a good thing, but anything refined or processed, we're not, we're not going to do. Drink enough water so that your urine is clear. That's important to flesh out all the toxins and, and things that you'll that come through our body. Seven to eight hours of sleep per night, exercise most days, eliminate eating after six or 7 p.m. at the max. Why? You're giving your body a chance and your digestive system to rest. You can do anything for 10 days. And so we really, really encourage you to stay as faithful as you can for these 10 days to these guidelines, you're also going to, to flood your body with nutrition. So you're replacing one or two of your meals with a complete plant-based shake. All of you should have that now. If you don't, please contact your shred leader. We recommend that you add in the fruits, the vegetables, and the berry plant powders. Highly recommended but not required. We're gonna to explain to you what those plant powders do in your body. 
and the shred menu. By now, all of you should have the shred menu, the 10 day guide and then the after shred guide. All of you should have it in your hand so you know and have ideas of what to eat. Communicate also with your shred leader. There is a Facebook group. Look out for that Facebook invite. It's called March or Shred, March Shred 2020. All of you all that are shred leaders, please make sure that you invite your shredders. If you are a shredder, make sure that you've received that invite. And so let's talk about what to eat. We want to keep it simple. We recognize that so many of us are busy and on the go. So in keeping it simple, meal one, that's where you put in your shake and you can make it as a smoothie. And what a smoothie means that you're adding fruit to it. You're adding a nut butter. When you're doing your shake or your smoothie, you can put your capsules right in there and you don't have to open them up or anything. You can just throw them in. They're food and you can just grind them right up with your smoothie. So my, my, what's important to note is if you're making a smoothie, you don't want to put in more than one cup of fruit, only one cup. And if you're diabetic or you're watching your blood sugar, I recommend half of a cup. Um, yeah, so, and if you're doing a banana, a full banana or a half of a banana if you're watching your blood sugar. That keeps it simple for these 10 days, for meal one, it's your smoothie or your shake. If you need a snack, in between your next meal. You can do hummus and veggies. You can do turkey with some veggies, or if you like tuna, you can do that. Notice you're not at that particular time doing a lot of carbohydrates, but don't worry, there are carbs in here. Your lunch, if you're doing your second shake, you can do that at that time with a salad if you feel like you need a little bit more food, or your, your lunch can be a big, huge salad with chicken, turkey, tofu, eggs, so forth. Your dinner is where you can be creative. You can do chicken, fish, turkey, eggs, tofu, whatever you want to do, whatever protein you want, some vegetables, at least a cup, you can do more. And this is where you can have your brown rice, quinoa, sweet potatoes, corn tortillas. Every Tuesday during the shred is Taco Tuesday. I have tacos every time I shred. And I want you all to be excited to know that corn tortillas are gluten-free. Not the flour ones, but the corn ones. So enjoy your tacos if you so choose. The closer you follow the menu and the guidelines, the better results that you will see. With the shake, as I mentioned to you, so you can use them, you can just shake it up with water or unsweetened almond milk or any nut milk that you like. So we're not doing any dairy, and it is not dairy, it is all plant-based. And again, if you're doing the, sh the, the smoothie, that's when you can add fruit and some nut butters and grind it all up and, and enjoy it that way. I only recommend that you do one smoothie a day. So the other one, if you're doing two of the proteins, the other one's just the, the protein and the, and the nut milk or the water, the other one can be a full smoothie. All right, so if you're hungry between your meals, drink more water, that will help you to to um, not be hungry. And you really shouldn't be because the shakes are designed to keep you full. They are a complete meal. If you're not hungry, and let's say it's time for your next meal and you just really don't want to eat, just take, you know, drink some water and, and listen to your body. You don't have to force yourself to eat. If you find that the complete gives you gas, soldier through those 10 days and see if that does, if that subsides. And if for some reason it's just giving you crazy gas and you can't take it, let your shred leader know. Um, sometimes with the shred, your body goes through a detox effect and you, there's a rumble in the jungle, if you will, and there's things going on in the body and it's just letting you know that it's, you know, it's, it's talking to you. So soldier through the gas if you can, but do let your shred leader know if there's gas because it ain't unheard of. We know that sometimes we, that gas comes. So, okay, what you're eating during the shred, let's talk about the protein options. And the shred is designed for you, whether you're plant-based, vegetarian, vegan, flexitarian, wherever you fall, these are the protein options. And you're doing five to seven ounces. You can do all of it baked, grilled, broiled, pan seared. You do fish, chicken breast, turkey, tempeh, tofu, eggs, egg whites. You can use your, your protein, your complete protein. We're not recommending red meat during the shred. You'll have a better result 
result if you don't do red meat during this 10 days. Carbohydrates. So just to be clear, when as far as weight is concerned, our weight packs on because of our over, I would not say overindulgence, but we have more carbohydrates and our body is burning. So if you're wanting to reduce pounds, stay real close to the recommendation with the, with the carbohydrates. Am I frozen at all? No, yes, somebody shake your head. Am I frozen? Hello, anybody? <laughs> Am I there? You're not frozen, okay. I can see you. Got it, got yeah. it. So the carbohydrates. Again, if you're wanting to get the pounds off, stay real, real close to the amount that I recommend. One cup or one serving. So one cup of rice, one cup of oatmeal. These are all the gluten-free options. One cup of beans. Not one cup of each at a, all the time, but if you're going to have one, choose one and have a cup. If you're going to do a sweet potato, do one small or medium. Corn tortillas, that's two. Your quinoa, you can do that plantains or grits, stick to one cup with that dinner meal. That's gonna help you. Your vegetables, the raw ones are have the, the most amount of enzymes. And the more we cook them, the more we take out the enzymes. Remember, we wanna flood your body with the best nutrition that you possibly can get. Not to say that you should not cook your vegetables, but the more you cook them, the less enzymes you have. If you're doing fruit, you can also do fruit as your carbohydrate. Like if in the evening meal, if you just wanted to literally have a bowl of fruit, you can do, or a cup of fruit, you can do that as well. I will make sure that I open it up to questions at the end. I want to talk about, again, the plant powders. If you're taking the plant powders, which we so recommend, if you're taking the chewables, that's the gummies, you're taking four of each for as, as an adult. Children take two, but if you're an adult, you're taking four of each. So the four fruits, four vegetables, four berries, for those of you who have the berries. For the capsules, you're taking two of each, two fruits, two vegetables, two berries. Again, you can throw them into your smoothie. Do not have to open them up. You just grind them right in and it's easy and it just takes the, the swallowing out of the, the capsules. That's how to take them. Now, what are the benefits of them? And I want you to know they're not a vitamin, a multivitamin. We take a multivitamin or we think we need to take one because we're trying to supplement what we're not getting. And a vitamin literally is an isolated amount of nut nutrients, synthetic and, and made. And so with the Juice Plus, it's literally fruits and vegetables in the capsule or the chewable, the pits, the peel, the seeds, everything ground up with the water taken out and you're getting the raw fruits and vegetables straight to, to your cells. Sidebar, if you have the capsule, you can sponsor a child to get them for free. Now, I want to, I want to go through what exactly happens in your body when you're taking the capsules and then I want to hear, we'll hear from some other shredders what their results. This is through blood work, research shown, this is what happens. So within seven days, the antioxidants in your blood plasma will go up. Within seven days, all the free radicals in, and the damage that they do will go down by 75%. This is, this is very, very significant. So within 80 days, your DNA will be less damaged. So the less damage you have in the body, the, the better your body will do and the more your immune system is, is heightened. And that is when you're taking the recommended two of each a day. And the, your cardiovascular system, the circulation improves within 28 days. Your, so we talked about the immune system and this is just such a time to really say, as everybody again is, is at, up in arms about the coronavirus, they, it gets people, as does the flu or anything else, that doesn't have a strong immune system. In 80 days, your B cells and T cells are heightened when you're taking the plant powders. Your anti-inflammatory response, so your we have inflammation in the body, that's going down. Your gums, and I tell people, this was definitely what happened to me. My gums bled less. I had inflammation in my gums and it went down. And then your skin, 39% of 
the microcirculation in your skin. It's like a healthier glow with your skin when you take them. And then also, I always laugh when I talk about the pregnancy study because this is like not what I'm doing right at all. But for those of you who want to be pregnant or you know people, it lowers the risk of preeclampsia, toxemia, and premature labor. And then in is a new study that shows that belly fat goes down and insulin resistance is, is, is decreased when you're taking the plant powders. And lastly, lung capacity in smokers and oxidized cholesterol in the blood plasma goes down. That's real deal food and nutrition for the body. And I don't know anything else like it because it's just food. So make sure you have the following items on, on hand. Make sure you have your meal plan, your 10 day shred guide and then you're going to have that bigger bigger one the four week plan that you can use after the shred make sure you have that make sure that you've been invited to the facebook accountability group our facebook group it's as an event so look out for that and your personal commitment and your drive you signed up to do this for some reason so you want to see yourself through and I understand that it's a challenge. If you're used to eating cheese or you, whatever it is, like you're taking out some of the things that you like, just get it done for 10 days. Gotta get it done for 10 days. When you're doing the shred, you can do it with intermittent fasting or you can do it the traditional way. I'm gonna talk a little bit about intermittent fasting so you can understand that if that's the path that you want to take. When you're doing intermittent fasting, it's a, eating pattern where you cycle between periods of eating and fasting. The most popular way to do it is what's called 16-8. That means that you are fasting for 16 hours. And, and it sounds scary, but for eight of those hours, you're asleep. And then you're eating within an eight hour window. When you're doing that, then you generally can fit in three meals. So let's say you're eating between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. or 10 to six, that's the most popular one or 11 to seven. So you don't eat before your fasting window and you don't eat after. And I would tell you, it is the, the intermittent fasting is not for everyone. I love it and there are people that it just doesn't work for that. But research shows that when you do that, it is a, it's a metabolic trigger and it flips on a switch for your cells for fat burning and fat storing. Now, it is known to help reduce cholesterol and blood pressure and inflammation as well. And our normal body, the way that our rhythm of our body wants us to, in the night, not eat and to sleep and let our bodies rest. But again, it's not for everyone. And let me tell you, why am I missing some slides? Okay, I don't know why I'm not missing for everyone. It's not for you if you have low blood sugar, low blood pressure, if you're pregnant. It is not for you and it's not recommended. All right, you can intermittent fast with exercise. You absolutely can. And hold your questions to the end and I'll definitely get to that. When you see the menu, it's gonna explain to you about intermittent fasting. I personally do it and I love it, but I didn't start off this way. When I started the shred, I didn't start off with intermittent fasting. When you're doing the shred, I recommend that you document your journey Take your measurements, um, weigh yourself, take your measurements of your hips and your stomach so you know what progress is being made in terms of weight, weight reduction, if that is your intention, because that's how you're gonna know. And I know this with the shred, is that sometimes you may not see it on the scale, or, you, or a lot of people do, but they see it in their measurements during those 10 days. So pay attention to the journey. Journal the journey if you if you need to. Just really let your body talk to you. Preparation is very, very key in that. Um, let me ask this. Brunetta, Dr. Brunetta, are you here somewhere? I don't know if she is. Okay, so preparation is key. You all know that we're starting on Monday, and it happens every time where people would say, oh, I didn't have my meals, or I forgot this, or I forgot that. Put yourself in the best position and that is make sure you've tried your smoothies and you know what you're doing and you've cleaned out your cabinets because if you have all kinds of Cheetos and cheese puffs and things and donuts in your cabinet and you're doing the shred, you're already setting yourself up for that. 
the challenge is if you have kids because we know they eat all kinds of stuff french fries and we may want to dip our hands in their little plates or eat their leftovers focus on yourself for these 10 days so you can get the most out of what is going on again preparation is the key we start on monday you should have everything that you need again make sure you're into the, the facebook group and each shred leader has their own personality where we look for you and we hold you accountable and we're checking in with you during these 10 days. We want you to participate. Inside of the Facebook group, you'll see different people posting. Post your food, post how you feel, post your struggles. We all have struggles and we, we want authenticity and telling the truth about what's going on. So don't be afraid to jump in there and post and share. And so, okay, so let's talk about what to actually expect. When we talk about the shred, everybody's journey is different. So I'm going to have just a couple of shredders talk about their journey with the shred, what they notice, what their body is doing. So Ma BJ, would you, would you share your journey and, um, yeah, briefly, what's been going on with you and how long you've been shredding and what's your result? Hi, everybody. I started shredding. Um, in June last year, middle of June, uh, I had just had, just prior to that, a mild stroke, and I, I knew the stroke wasn't because of my arteries, it was really because of dehydration and stuff like that. But I started on the shred knowing that I need to lose weight. Anytime you get on the scale and you weigh more than your husband, you're in trouble. And so... I thought, I'll do this for 10 days. To me, it's like they tricked me. You know, I thought, okay, you know, I got to get off of all that. The one key that she said, though, that really made me say I'm in, I am a taco girl. Oh, my God. When they told me I could have tacos, I said, I am in. But I did, like she said, plan. I'm not going to be at no stove. I ain't Betty Crocker. I'm not even sure how much I'm going to stay to the meal plan, but I look at the meal plan and what I did, I had enough taco meat for 10 days. Um, I made a turkey meatloaf. I had turkey chili with red beans. I get my protein. I made all that and, and made enough for two months, you guys, so that I could pull it back out when the shred came the next, next month. That way I didn't even have to prepare it for the next, next shred. So I had all my food together all my fruit uh, together and cut up so that I could just grab. It didn't have to cheap because I didn't have the preparation done. So she's right. So the first time I lost six pounds and my ankles weren't swollen. And I thought, man, and some of the other people with me, they had lost 15 and 10 respectfully and all the uh, toxics, almost everybody I've invited to go on the shred, all of them said in three days, they could tell the difference just in three days. And so I decided I'm just going to keep on shredding. Whereas maybe everybody else got off in 10 days. I did the reverse. I just kind of stayed on it and decided to make that my way of life and every now and then i might have had a cheat day but i i can tell you i've only had maybe bread a little bit of cornbread maybe since june four times uh one thing they tell you is don't eat bread i've only had maybe a sandwich twice but i kind of curved it with all their meal plan to the Stuff I like. I stayed off. I haven't had pasta. I've I've had the time of my life, and uh, I even went on a cruise. And some of the shredders were on the cruise. They said, "You're going to really do this on a cruise?" I said, "Yeah. Fruits and veggies is there. Salmon's there. Roasted chicken. Why not?" So I actually stayed on it, even on the cruise. But I I will say this: I have gone from uh, about 170, and I weighed this morning just so I could see. I was 137. Wow. And so I've gone 
a size 16 down to a 10. Wow. And uh, it's been wonderful. I then started the first of the year with the intermittent fasting. I like to start on a fast for 40 days anyway, but I tell you what, I've been doing the shred and the intermittent fasting ever since the first of the year. I'm still on intermittent fasting. Uh, and, let me let me ask you this, Ma BJ. You and you take the capsules and you take the protein. Is that true? I'm actually uh, doing the gummies. I switched. I started on the capsules. I like the gummies better. Got it. And then have the protein like in the morning. Have some fruits and vegetables. I I kind of have my fasting time from um, 8 a.m. and I I can eat between that and let's say two to three. I try not to eat anything after three for okay. me because I'm okay. going to be 74. You have to realize um, our hormones, when we get our age, they didn't go into heaven and left us down here struggling. So shred is good, you guys. Awesome. Thank you, my BJ. And let, let me, um, we're going to hear, I want Denise because I can see her. And then I'm looking at my class. So I'm going to go a little bit faster. But Denise, I've heard your story, but I really want people that are new what I, what I want you to share with us really is your results. And I love the part when, and I'm kind of telling you the, the part when you were saying about the scale not moving and how that all went. Okay. So it's been two and a half years and I've lost over 85 pounds shredding and it's completely changed my life. <laughs> um, I, I started the shred because my doctor um, after a health crisis was making me go gluten and dairy free so I just figured I was already taking the products why not do the shred so but it, the trick is the combination of everything and really following the meal plan and doing um, eating the right foods like giving your body a break so um, I found over the two and a half years, like people are like, well, why didn't you, I still have more weight to lose. I, I have like about 80 pounds more to lose. So um, people are like, well, it took you two and a half years to lose that. Well, yeah, because I had to learn a lot over the time. And sometimes you're, you're not seeing movement on the scale, but it doesn't mean that you're not losing pounds or inches or it's kind of neat how it happens um there's things that happen in your body and definitely emotional um plays a big role in all of that um when you're ready to release things it goes <laughs> so um it's it there's a whole different level to everything i'm learning quite a bit i'm learning about not rushing slowing down um reducing my stress so I am so for all the things that the shred has done. I love the support of our group, our Facebook group. I love all the different ideas and recipes. And I was somebody that was the drive through Sue. And now I'm happy to be eating healthy all the time. So <laughs> drive through Sue. I like that. Drive through Sue. And, you know, <laughs> our thank you for that. There, our community, it, it becomes a lifestyle. We, we, Come together every month and we do this so those of you that are new or seasoned we hope that you uh, continue i know there's so many other shredders on here but we're going to keep it with with um, those two after the 10 days we're going to have a post shred meeting we hope that you are joining in on that and that's going to be on march the 19th 6 p.m 9 p.m eastern standard because we have shredders that are from all over uh so because denise is on the east coast somewhere um, are you in Florida? I should know where you are. Is it Florida? Yes, I am in Florida. I'm in Hobe Sound, Florida. Okay. So, so near there, Jupiter yeah. Island, near all the celebrities. <laughs> so it's late over there. So just know that we're going to come together. We're going to talk about your 10 days, how that went, and then kind of say, okay, well, what's next? Um, during the shred, in the Facebook group, we're going to post some education videos educational videos and some resources so take some time to get in there and look at those also i hear that some of our fitness partners are going to post some exercises that you can do during the day or during the day at home uh during your shred experience because part of it is exercising most days so just just punch in uh, check into the facebook page that we're doing and pull down or look at that that education 
So at this point, I want to open it up for questions before we go. If you're shy, I have everybody muted. So if you have a question, you can unmute and ask that. Or if you feel shy in your on your computer, you can type it in. I know there's a lot of you that are actually on the phone. So in that, you couldn't see my screen. So if you're on the phone, you unmute yourself by star six. And we will open it up to any questions that you have. Hi, Robin. This is yes. Deborah. Hi, everybody. So on the shred, um, can you substitute um, for the carbs, like on the meal plan, or do you have to have the carbs that's suggested, or can you not have those carbs at all? So the, the question was, can you substitute the carbs? I'm going to answer it in a, in a couple of different ways. Um, so you can leave out the carb if you want to, but in real life, not in real life, but carbs belong in our body for energy. And so you can take out the carbohydrate and if you feel fine and you don't desire it, then you certainly don't have to have it, but it is there for you and it's okay, meaning that by having that carb in that quantity, it, it you still can see the results. But you can take the carb out if you want to, you do not have to have it. Is that, is that what you mean or sub it out with something else? Yes. Well, I'm not really uh, rice and quinoa and barley. I'm not, I, I just don't like those type of um, foods anyway. Yeah. Like I'm so a pasta person. You're a pasta person. So you can do, if you want to do fruit instead, you can do that. If Again, corn tortillas, if you want to do okay. that. If you want to do a sweet potato, you can do that. Okay. Yeah. Does that help? Yeah, that'll work for me more, but I thought you had to go. Yes, because I, I, I wouldn't eat the rice or the quinoa or none and of you that. Can, you can I do can't a, substitute the sweet potato. Yeah, you can do some beans, a cup of beans. Yeah, so you don't have to yeah, do rice. That'll work too. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good, good question. Okay, all right. Thank Any you. other questions? Um, no, I, I, I pretty much got everything prepared, went shopping, and I'm ready for this. Awesome. Because awesome. I can't get past the shredding. I can never get past the, I think the most I've lost is 17, just doing other things. Like once I get to, like, I want to lose 20 pounds, so I want to try to stay on that shred or at least um, get that support from the Facebook group yeah. um, so I can lose more than 20 pounds. Because I awesome. think like I get stuck at 20. Well, when, when just keep, keep faithful to what we're doing and plug in and, and we'll definitely help you and coach you through. Anyone else have any questions? Okay. Thank you. Anyone else have any questions? I cannot, for some reason, I can't see my, oh, here we go. Does anyone else have any questions at all before we go? Don't be shy because we definitely want you to get your questions answered if you have them. All right, or well, you might be either you're shy or I'm thorough, and that's good. Um, so, any questions, comments, or anything before we before we go off? I was gonna say just for those that get stuck at a certain certain point, um, the exercise is cute. But once I got used to the shred, I started shrinking my portions, ah. and so now I eat on a salad plate or a coffee saucer. And because you really don't, we're so used to eating till we're full of stuff, and really we're just to eat to fuel our body for energy. So start shrinking the the portions, and your body will get used to that too. And yeah, my BJ just said something that was really key in addition to the portions, but the exercise. Like that is, the older we get, the more we need to do more. So our hormones change, and the things we used to do, we have to kick it up a notch which means we have to do, the, do better with our nutrition and actually move our bodies. Um, and that's weight and just movement in general. So yeah, if you're at a plateau and you're, and I'll say this for everybody, if you're stuck somewhere um, and you're doing, let's say you're doing everything, you're eating a certain way, you're exercising, then that truly is a, a hormone challenge. And you have to look further into thyroids and all that stuff. And we can kind of explore that if that becomes an issue for someone. But um, when you're bringing those toxins out of your body, in such a way your body 
really, really respond. So as to not keep this any longer, it's um, 6.35 or 9.35, depending on where you are in the world. So if you have questions other than that, you can post them in the group. You can get with your shred leader. And so I'm sending you all love and blessings. This is Robin from Necessary Nutrition. And bye. Good night, everybody. Have a good night. And we'll uh, see you on Monday. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Send me to me.